Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we had a good article from the OC Register today, and they gave us a first look at the two new mazes at this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. First is Bride of Frankenstein, and second is Haunting of Hill House. I'll do Haunting of Hill House in the second video tomorrow, so definitely subscribe for that. But today we're going to take a first look at The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. This is the first time this maze is debuting, or er, coming to Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. So let's take a look. That first uh, picture was John Murdy and Frankenstein standing outside the <clears throat> now very well known and iconic facade. Here is, looks like a team member or a special reporter moving through the outdoors part of the maze. And this play, maze has a lot more outdoor segments than I, than I thought. And you'll see that coming up soon. But this is like that. Looks like they're moving into the house, and there's like icicles. So it's very cold, um, like snowy maybe in this particular picture. Then we move on here to looks like another outdoor segment of this maze, and there's Frankenstein. Looks like a dead Frankenstein body, maybe a corpse, or maybe it's just Frankenstein just sleeping. I don't know, but it looks like he's like dead. I'm um, chilling here in some rocks. Um, but again, you can see the sunlight. So it's another outdoor segment. Which, I guess it makes sense. Like, the classic monsters mazes in the Parisian courtyard have always had a lot of outdoor areas. This obviously won't be sunny when you're going through the maze because it'll be dark. But just something to keep in mind. That also might be let's see, a little open area box right there. Or just an open area that might be a potential scare coming through. Maybe the bride will come scare you herself right there or next to good old Frankenstein who's laying there. Then in the indoor segment of the maze, it's very, I like, it's not, not a black walls maze. It's very creative. We have, again, Frank, oh, is that even, is that, that's not a actual, that's not a full-size Frankenstein. That's like a child Frankenstein. Or it looks like a child Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein, maybe. The one outside looked the same, but this is his bedroom. Looks like either Frankenstein or young Frankenstein's bedroom. And there's a mare, and there's probably some jump scares in there. Um, I like this little cabin type house, though. Very creative and not black wally, which is great. Now that's a big complaint of Halloween Horror Nights. Okay, so this is not young Frankenstein. It's actual Frankenstein, but his legs are like chopped off, eaten. eaten. Probably by his wife. But here he is again. Chilling in his maybe living room area. Of this nice house that they built. Um, and I'm sure if you turn around there's a jump scare from the his wife. The bride coming to get you. Probably with a, <coughs> with a knife or something as well. And in this room, you're in the, obviously in Frankenstein's castle here, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of old antiques and old stuff, but I really like that, that castle-like um, window there, um, really awesome. And I just love this vibe, really cool theming in this maze, like, this is going to be like a fun one to... I probably won't be able. I probably won't be able to film it, but if I want to definitely walk through, as well as get jump scared as well, that'd be really cool. And this next photo, there looks like they're having a lunch or dinner. Maybe they had a little fight because someone knocked over the drinks, and uh, they sort of clean off their plate though, so that's good. But yeah, this is a dark, but look again, just those little details. All the little cups, there's a little ukulele or violin right there. And looks like there's still some, maybe a dessert. Is that a cupcake? That plate in the little darkness over there. And our last scene, this is probably towards the exit. This is the graveyard. Um, a graveyard, a mini graveyard here. Um, really cool looking tombstones. Um, but yeah, this is, I bet you this is near the exit of the uh, attraction. And again, back in the outdoors, it'll be like a, I feel like it's be like a 50% outdoor, 50% indoor maze. Just going by the tour we got here. 
Oh, but we're, they're, they're allowed to take pictures of. Yeah, here's a little, uh, little tombstone. It's amazing. It's really cool. And it looks very, uh, very nice. I'm very excited for this um, maze. Just one week away, basically. A week and two days from opening night. September 9th is that opening night of Halloween Horror Nights. And that's super exciting. I cannot wait to be there on open night to see it. And I hopefully it gets to film this maze. But um, I may not be able to. But I'll definitely be enjoying it. But yeah, what do you guys think, think of Bride of Frankenstein? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for uh, more maze looks like. Haunting of Hill House, which will be tomorrow, and a Halloween Horror Nights construction update, our last one, um, coming this weekend. Probably up on Saturday or Sunday, but it'll be a long weekend, so maybe even Monday or Tuesday. Uh, as always, have a fantastic day.